Welcome back everybody to Gentle Dorks, and as you can see from the logo on the screen, here at Gentle Dorks, I have had a couple more technical difficulties. I had three videos set up to be edited, and as I was in the middle of editing them, something happened to the computer, it shut down I think, forgot to plug it in, plugged it in, and the files had been corrupted. So that was three complete videos, all ready to be uploaded, gone. But we move on here at Gentle Dorks and I thought I'll just jump on and I will sort out another top 10. Because if we don't move on, what's the point? So we're still here creating content, despite the technical difficulties and the hatred of technology but we do what we do because we love to do it so here we go so i am going to do my top 10 greatest horror franchises ever and at number 10 is final destination and at number nine is scream and at number eight is Saw. Number seven, Child's Play. Number six is The Evil Dead. Number five, Hellraiser. Number four, Night of the Living Dead. Number three is Halloween. Number two, is Friday the 13th. And in at number one, my favourite horror franchise is Nightmare on Elm Street. And there you have it folks, that's my greatest horror franchises. And it's strange that in 2024, all these are over 20 years old. They're all at least over 20 years old. And at the time of recording, there is five of these franchises that are going to have continuations in some way. The most surprising one's Halloween. There is a TV series in production right now. When it's going to drop, I don't know. It's, it's early stages of production, but it's still getting made. Uh, the next one on the list that's very surprising is The Night of the Living Dead. We had George Romero's six movies that he made. He had a script for a seventh movie that his estate would not let anybody touch. And then somebody came to them with the idea of saying, look, we want to make this script of George's that will fit in with the rest of his franchise because we've had the, the reboots and the remakes and stuff like that and they're not really part of his universe and that franchise and the estate have let somebody do it and it's in production, it's been in production hell since 2020 but we do seem to be getting it now they are fast tracking production for it so we should be getting that probably sometime in the next two to three years so I'll be keeping my eyes open for that and hopefully it'll be a great end to a great franchise. Another of the movies that's getting another two movies actually is The Evil Dead. They have greenlit another two movies because of the success of Evil Dead and Evil Dead Rise which, which I thought were fantastic. Uh, so I'll be excited to see that. There is also an Ash vs. the Evil Dead animation in the works with Bruce Campbell coming back to voice Ash because who else are you going to get to be Ash? If it wasn't Bruce Campbell, is there any actual point in doing that? I don't think there is. The, the last two that are getting new movies in their franchises is Scream with Scream 7, which 
has been up and down with its production, with them firing their main character because of her political views. They say that's not why they fired her, but it was after she'd said these political things that she was fired. And then when they asked her to come back, she said no. Which I, I completely respect her for not doing that because the reason she was fired was because of her political views. And her standing her ground saying, no, that's why you fired me. I don't want to be part of it anymore. I think that was the best thing for her. But they've got Nave Campbell back for Scream 7. And it'll be interesting to see how they do that because her story was finished in Scream 5 which is why Scream 6 didn't have her but now they've also got Kevin Williamson back who wrote the original so it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out and then the last one that's in production is Final Destination now I will be very interested to see how that one plays out because of how Final Destination 5 ended I don't want to go into it too much don't want to spoil anything in case anybody hasn't seen these I try and avoid spoilers as much as I can even with my full reviews it's not something I like to do but it will be interesting to see how they do this one so on that note everybody I'm going to love yous and leave yous hopefully I can retrieve some of the other videos that were recorded. If not, again, we'll move on and we'll do what we can. I say we, it's just me at Gentle Dorks. It's not like I have a full team of people, which would be good. I wish I did have a full team of people. Can't afford that though. But we move on and let me know your greatest horror franchises. Even if it's not a franchise, let me know your favourite horror movies. There's a ton of fantastic movies to choose from. And if I had to name all of the horror movies that I loved, we would be here forever. Because it was, it was the horror genre that got me into watching movies when I was younger. I started watching horrors when I was far too young to be watching them really and I've ju it's just been like a love of the genre ever since so let me know your thoughts let me know if you agree or don't agree with my list and I'll catch you on the next one hopefully in video form so on that note I salute you see ya